Hi Capricorn, it's Ellie and welcome to my channel. We are doing your person's real intentions towards you reading. So let's begin. This reading is good for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If this reading resonates for you, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below how it resonated for you. I am sorry if I have, I have to apologize, I really do. Uh, I haven't been so active in uploading um, videos as consistently as I used to the last few two weeks, I guess, because Mercury in retrograde has really hit me. It really has. Um, even now, sometimes I cannot find the right words to say, and when sometimes when I have to say it, you know, it comes out the wrong way for some reason. You have the, your person has the high priestess as their main energy, overall energy. Their intentions, the seven of cups, the magician, and then the three of wands. To clarify the seven of cups, you have the king of wands. Let's get that. The Eight of Cups, and then the Fool. Mm. Okay. Okay. Capricorn, your person's challenge for this reading is the four of swords so they haven't healed they haven't healed from whatever pain that they experienced during the breakup this is a breakup um this spread is about two people who are separated So they haven't healed. Their challenge is to heal. Don't get me wrong. This person could be, you know, going in and out of other other person's lives. Very non-committal. But deep inside, they haven't healed. Deep inside, they haven't healed. The High Priestess is their overall i mean i mean the overall energy see mercury in retrograde so the overall energy for your person is the high priestess i'm hearing your person is very silent towards you right now you're not really both both of you are not really talking to each other as of the moment your person is really trying to feel things out to really trust their intuition and listen to their intuition. I'm hearing this is something that they have just been recently doing. You have the Seven of Cups. Their intentions is the Seven of Cups to the King of Wands. Not really a good energy. They want to come towards you, but with you as just an option of the many options that they have. The King of Wands here is someone passionate but very non-committal. I'm sorry. Please, please don't shoot the messenger when I say this, all right? Please don't shoot the messenger when I say this. It's just the energies that I'm getting um, with the cards that I'm getting. The Magician to the Eight of Cups, meaning they are actually trying to really manifest you back into their world. You've walked away. You've really walked away. But they want you to come back towards them. They want to manifest you back, but they just you as an option. I'm really, I don't get people like that. I don't get people like that. That's very immature for me. I'm so sorry about that, Capricorn. Um, you have the three of wands to the fool. 
This person has been waiting. They want a fresh start with you if it's possible. They want a fresh start with you. They're really thinking how can they have a fresh start with you. Well, that's actually a very easy answer. Drop all the drop all the options and concentrate. Focus on you, right? Easier said than done. Easier said than done for most people. What is the actions towards you? All right. The actions towards you is the Page of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and then the Five of Cups. Your person's actions towards you is the Page of Pentacles. They want to offer you something. Very small, very, you know, very small gesture, very small offers. Maybe coffee, you know, want to date you, want to take you out to the movies, stuff like that. You know, for some reason, this person believes that you are in the palm of their hands. This person believes that you are in the palm of their hands. They are arrogant that way. This person feels very much alone. No matter how many options they tried to waste, if you could see this person trying to waste whatever cup that um, whatever's in that cup they feel so alone and they're and I, fe and I feel very heavily that they're doing this on their own this is something that is their choice you know what is the advice for my capricorn the advice for my capricorn is the Chariot, the chariot, and the world. So, all right. All right. Very clearly, Capricorn. You know, there's new passion coming towards you. Probably from someone who could be at a distance from you because of the world. And yes, this is a travel card as well, the chariot. So, this could be someone at a distance from you. But there's new passion coming towards you. Something something that resonates a lot more to you. But this is your decision on how to move forward. Whether or not you want to end, uh, end this cycle with your person or, you know, have a new beginning with a new one. This is all up to you. But Spirit is telling you that there is new passion coming towards you. New passion coming towards you. All right. Let's see you have soulmate soulmate yes this is your soulmate but thing is we don't always end up with we have a lot of soulmates in this lifetime so We might not end up with this soulmate, but we might end up with another. So you have a change in the wind, but it's in the reverse. That is number 12. That is the hanged man. A change in the wind. Protection message. Protection message. There are conditions brewing in your life you have no control over. Do not fight them. Change is inevitable and is the and is for the best, for the higher good. Even if it even if this storm blows away, the structures you think you have built your dreams on will turn out as it should. You will have a renewed clarity and strength to do something even better. Spirit is your ally. Spirit is your ally. So I hope something in this reading resonated, Capricorn. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up. I would love it if you subscribe to my channel already, if you haven't. And I love you all. I'll see you in the next reading and stay blessed.